Hey everybody, we're going to give a couple minutes for people to come on in and then we're going to get started with our chat with Coach D. Got seven people on. We're going to get started in about a minute or two. We're going to talk about some health and wellness things while we're in this COVID 19. So I'm just going to invite a few people. Hope everybody has been having an amazing day. And remember, I'm going to ask answer questions too. So if you have questions about anything health related or fitness related, please make sure that you write your questions down because I am going to answer questions and stuff too. Okay. So we're going to get started in just a little bit. and share it on your page share it with your friends share it with whoever you want to share it with um so that we can all get some information about health and wellness right yeah and please go like the parallel fitness page please 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 go like the Fa parallel fitness page um and join the group too i have a private group so join that group as well okay so we're gonna get started in just a minute Oh, all right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you guys for showing up. I uh, got somebody that said, hey, auntie, hey, how you doing, Kari? Um, so you can put your questions in here um, and I'm going to um, answer questions and stuff as well. So please make sure that you have your questions. So um, I basically wanted to come on and talk to everybody about um, some health and wellness during this time of during the coronavirus. There are some things that you can do to, can do, um, to stay fit. Um, you might have some questions or anything like that. So I just wanted to come um, and just talk to you guys and see if you guys have any questions or anything like that. Um, and I talked to a group maybe about two weeks ago and they had um, different questions about different things that they can do during this time while the coronavirus is going on. I even talked to um, a company and I helped them with some different exercises and stuff like that. They can do when they're working working from home or when they are, of course, still working. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to at any time, you're more than welcome to reach out to me um, and ask me questions. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I have my phone here too, so I can answer any questions that anybody has. Okay. Um, 
So um, I just want to talk real briefly about um, staying fit during this time. Yes, you know, um, my motto for parallel fitness is it's more than just it's a workout. It's actually, so it's not something that you just do because um, you just say, oh, I'm going to do it for a little bit, which we do have people that do that and to each its own. But my motto for parallel fitness is really to make sure that we have a healthy lifestyle all the way around. Okay. That means mentally, physically, um, spiritually, all of that. Okay. So even when this coronavirus when the COVID-19 is over, I want us to all make sure that we're still doing things to remain healthy, right? That's definitely what we want to do, to remain healthy. So um, I'm just going to talk about a few things that you can do right now. So one of the things that we can do is we got to stay active, Okay. I know, you know, some people out here working it out, you know, everybody doesn't work out like that. Right. Okay. And that's fine. I'm good with that, but stay active, do something. There are so many different things that you can do um, besides just doing a full blown workout. You can um, go for a walk. You can go for a bike ride. You can do gardening. I've been telling people do gardening with your family. I see a lot of people and they are um, doing vegetables, they're doing fruit and all things like that. They're planting plants, all types of things like that during this time, which that actually, let me tell you, if you've never worked in your yard, it can be a really good workout. OK, so that's something that you can do as well. So you can go for walks, you can go for bike rides, gardening. I also tell people you can do family challenges with your family. So one of the things that you can do is sometimes when you're watching television, or um, um, you are um, watching your favorite TV show, right? Guess what you can do? You can say, hey, let's do a challenge. Let's do a challenge and see who can do the most push-ups, who can do the most crunches, whatever it is that you want to do. But make it fun with you and your family, okay? You, When a commercial segment comes on, you can get down, you can do crunches, whatever it is you can do. You can do 10, whatever. Who can do the most jumping jacks? Um, who can run to the around the house the fastest? Who And who can get back? You can even do things like scavenger hunts. Our kids like scavenger hunts too, right? Hunts outside. You can do scavenger hunts inside. So there are so many different things that you can do to stay fit during this time and to stay active. And it's not always about just working out because everybody's not into working out like that, but you have to stay active. Um, another thing that you can do during this time for your um, fitness or for your health and wellness, get your rest, okay? Get rest, get sleep, because one of the things that rest does is it rebuilds your immune system. Hey, Raymond, how are you? But one of the things that you can do is you can get rest. Rest rebuilds your immune system, okay? It really does. Just think about it. Um, I know when I used to run track, we had rest days, okay? At least one day a week, or if it was two days a week, um, we had rest days because our body needed rest to be able to rebuild the muscles, to be able to rebuild itself and rebuild the immune system, right? Yes. So um, remember, get rest. If you get tired and you feel like, you know what, I'm not having it today, because let's be honest, I'm a personal trainer. days, which means that I may stretch, which is very good for you. Stretching is an amazing, an amazing thing. Stretching helps you feel so much better. Okay. It's good for you. Um, so remember rest really builds the immune system. So let's get our rest. Okay. Um, let's see. A lot of people don't know this. And when I seen it, I was really shocked. I was like, Okay, so reducing sugar pro and processed meats. Why? Because they have a lot of fat and they ha have a lot of fat in them. And what happens is when you have a lot of fat and a lot of sugar in your body, it causes inflammation. Yes, it causes inflammation. Fat and sugars cause inflammation. So when inflammation occurs, that means that your immune system gets real busy trying to fight 
off all of the immune, all these different things, and it's unable to fight like it needs to as a good immune system. So again, cut back on some of the sugars, cut back on some of the fat, some of the oily things, and that will help your body be able to boost its immune system. So if something does come into your body, your body can fight like your immune system can fight like it needs to, and it won't have to fight against all the fats and all of the sugars, okay? So that takes me into vitamins, okay? We need to make sure that we have some immune boosting vitamins, immune boosting vitamins in our system. What kind of vitamins am I talking about? Okay, let's talk about it. Vitamin A, okay? Vitamin A is a good vitamin to help boost your immune system. What does vitamin A, um, what kind of different vitamins do um, can we find um, or different things can we find? Um, vitamin A in carrots, sweet potatoes. We're actually having sweet potatoes for dinner tonight. Squash, cantaloupe, things like that. You want to make sure you get some vitamin A in there so that your immune system is being boosted to be able to fight off whatever it needs to fight off, right? good. Um, we always think that vitamin C is just, you know, citrus, oranges, tangerines, lemons, stuff like that. Well, there are so many different things that have vitamin C in them. Okay. I'm going to give you a list. I hope you guys are writing this down because you definitely will need this um, later. Okay. So green leafy vegetables. Yes. Green leafy vegetables definitely have vitamin C in them. Of course, we already said citrus strawberries just about everybody likes strawberries right right okay so we in them as well brussels sprouts somebody cringe when i said brussels sprouts not everybody likes brussels sprouts well brussels sprouts have vitamin c in them as well so probably i would say being honest transparent um hey call hey debbie how are you um about maybe three or four months ago maybe could have been a little longer than that. I said, I need to find another vegetable for my family because they were wearing out, they were wearing me out with the broccoli, with the green beans. Um, what else? Zucchini and squash. Uh cabbage. Here it is. Um, my husband doesn't like asparagus. So if I cook it, it's I'm the only one's gonna eat it. So I said, I'm gonna do some Brussels sprouts, all right. So when I made the Brussels sprouts, my husband was like, what is this? I was like, it's Brussels sprouts. He was like, babe, you do not cook Brussels sprouts. I was like, I know, but we're going to try them. So I cooked them. I sauteed them, some garlic, a little bit of butter, put a little you know, garlic in them. They absolutely love Brussels sprouts now, okay? They ask for Brussels sprouts, okay? So vitamin C in with the Brussels sprouts. I suggest you get some Brussels sprouts, okay? So that is another thing that has vitamin C in them. Bell peppers have vitamin C in them. You can do stuffed peppers if you want to. Um, that has vitamin C. Um, another immune boosting vitamin is vitamin D. Okay. Yes. Vitamin D. Where do we find vitamin D? Of course, we find it in milk. Okay. But we also can find vitamin D in fatty fishes like salmon and tuna, um, orange juice. And actually, I don't know if you know, but cereal has vitamin D in it too. Um, and of course, my favorite that has vitamin D, the, the sun. Please go out with your family. Get some sun, get some fresh air, because I promise you, vitamin D is in sun. We know that. So that's another immune boosting vitamin. Um, vitamin E. Where can we find vitamin E? How many of you like different kinds of nuts? Okay. Almonds, peanuts, sunflower seeds, all types of things like that. You can find vitamin E in nuts. Okay. That is another really good source for vitamin E and another vitamin that boosts your, your immune, immune system. Zinc. Okay. Zinc is another immune immune boosting vitamin, okay? Lean meats. Those seafood lovers out there, crab meat. I've seen a bunch of people talking today about where they can find some crab legs. So get you some crab legs. We got some zinc in it, okay? Poultry and yogurt. 
listen, my kids love when I make yogurt parfaits with them. So I'll make them yogurt parfaits with some Greek yogurt and I'll put strawberries, grapes, blueberries, pineapple, all kinds of different things on the inside of yogurt. Um, and yolk in it, we got to make sure that we have zinc for our immune boosting vitamins. Okay. Another one that's immune boosting is folic acid. Okay. Where can you find that? Green leafy vegetables. Okay. You can find it there. And also a hundred percent, I'm not talking about 50%, a hundred percent whole wheat products, whole wheat bread, whole wheat tortillas, whatever it is. 100% whole wheat, okay? That's where you'll find some folic acid, immune boosting vitamin is iron, okay? Um, we have some people that may be iron deficient, but you can find iron, of course, in lean meats, lean poultry, seafood, beans, broccoli, kale, okay? All kinds of different, um, of these different things have, um, have uh, iron in them, okay? So we're talking about immune boosting vitamins or things that we can do to boost our immune system, okay? We talked about exercise, staying active. If it's only 15 to 20 minutes, I need, so we're recapping, 15 to 20 minutes of exercise or being active like scavenger hunts with your family, going outside, biking, um, gardening, family challenges in the house, Whatever it is, at least 15 to 20 minutes. I think you can give me that, right? All right, rest. Remember, rest rebuilds our immune system, okay? You need your rest, all right? Um, this is a good time to rest, right? I really feel like even during this pandemic time that's going to get some much needed rest that we haven't been able to get. Okay. I'm not talking about being lazy, but I'm talking about getting some rest when usually we're on the go, we're working, we're doing whatever it is we're doing. We're taking the kids to sports. I really feel like that this is an amazing time to get the rest that you need. Right. Okay. We also talked about reducing the sugars and the processed meats and all of the oily things. Why? Did we say that? Because those things keep your immune system real busy. But when it's time to fight off what it needs to fight off, it can't fight it off. Why? It can't fight it off because you got all this junk on the inside. Um, and vitamins A, carrots, sweet potato, squash, cantaloupe. C, green leafy vitamins, citrus, strawberry, Brussels sprouts, vitamin D, Fatty fishes, salmon, tuna, milk, orange juice, cereal, immune boosting vitamins that are going to help you stay good and straight during this time. Nuts for vitamin E, zinc, um, your lean meat, crab meat for all you seafood lovers out there. Okay. Folic acid, iron. Now, I want to tell you guys something. Okay. And I'm not knocking nobody's hustle, but okay. I don't buy canned vegetables. I just don't because they're so preserved. They have a lot of salt in them. And I just feel like all of the nutrient content is gone. If you can't get fresh vegetables, frozen vegetables are the way to go. Okay. It's much better than doing canned vegetables. So canned corn, canned green beans, canned I don't know. They have so many different canned whatever, but they have a lot of sodium in them. OK, so if you can get some fresh um, vegetables, get them if you can. Okay? Now, here I'm coming to a point where I know it's hard and not everybody likes it and everybody don't like to do it. But guess what I need for us to do? I need for us to drink more water. OK. Yes. Listen, I can relate. Um, when I eat my dinner, I have to make it intentional. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have to make it intentional that I drink something with my food because it helps your food digest. Better. I really don't have to have anything to drink, but I need for us to be intentional about drinking this water, y'all. OK, yes. The recommended is eight glasses of water a day. What is eight glasses of water a day? That means eight ounces. So one um, eight, one cup of water is eight ounces, okay? So that's about, about 
like that. Okay. That's what one, that's what one glass is. So if you take a bottle of water, about 16 ounces, if you drink four of those, you've got your eight ounces in one of them, you've got two eight ounces. So basically if you drink four bottles of water, which is 16 ounces, you have your eight glasses of water a day. I'm not stopping you from going more than eight, eight, um, eight glasses. Okay. You can drink more than that. Okay. You should actually drink more than that. Okay. Because why it helps your digestive system move through some things. Okay. You get my drift. It helps it move through it. It helps your body work better. It is just better for you. You got to drink water and you got to stay hydrated. Okay. So I've kind of talked about all those things. I would love um, for you guys to ask some questions if you want to ask some questions. Um, thank you, Shakayla. Shakayla. She said she loves my glasses. Thank you. And the hair. Thank you. Um, so I would love for you guys to ask some questions. Um, any questions that you have about what can you eat? Um, what kind of exercises can you do? I mean, any questions. Ask me some questions about me, myself, Coach D. Um, where I went to school, what my major was, where I came from, anything that you want to ask um, that, that's in reason. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to be on here too long, so we're about 20 minutes in. Um, but yes, I would love for you guys to ask some questions about that you have about health and wellness during this time, um, about fitness during this time. What are some topics that you would possibly like for me to come back on and talk about? Because even during this time right now, I know I'm talking about health and wellness. Health and wellness also has to do with us mentally and spiritually, okay? During this time, some of us are probably going crazy. Some of us are not what? Some of us are not um, inside people, okay? Some of us aren't, all right? Some of us like to be out. I know I like to be out, outside doing things. But how can we stay sane during this time, okay? Yes, we're talking about health and fitness and what we can do to keep our bodies up and stay immune. But what can we do to keep our mind together? What can we do to keep our spirits together? I'm a lover of Christ. I'm a believer. I love God. I'm a minister. Um, so, I, so we have a question. Do 30-minute workouts work? Yes. 30-minute workouts do work. OK, yes, they do. I do 20 to 30 minutes in a virtual group that I have. They definitely work um, because you're getting your heart rate up. You're burning calories. You don't have to work out for an entire hour to feel like you got something done. 30 minutes will suffice. I'm telling you, if you join me in my virtual group, we get it in for 30 minutes. And, and the next day you're going to be like, my legs might be sore. You're getting good cardio in. So 30 minute workouts definitely work. OK, they definitely do. Um, Alex asks, what's a good replacement shake to use for smoothies or protein shakes? OK, a good replacement shake. Um, you could probably go to your local GNC or your local um, health food store. And it depends on what you're trying to do. If you just want a meal replacement, um, just go in and ask for something natural. I like of the different things that um, some of these protein shakes and stuff like that have in them, but ask for something natural or vegan or plant-based. Okay. Um, and you can add stuff in it. Um, you can do whey protein. Um, but if you just want a meal replacement, hey, I would say just go, if you're going to make your own smoothie, make your own smoothie with bananas, with strawberries, um, some flaxseed, um, some different things that you want to put in there and make it and maybe get you a little whey protein, something that's natural, something that's plant based and put it in there and you'll be fine. But don't let that take the place of you eating what you need to eat as well. OK. OK. Hey, Kim. Um, so that's um, that was another question. Um, and so until we get another question. I'll go back into what I was saying as far as making sure that during this time that we stay mentally and um, spiritually fit as well. OK, um, I'm not sure what everyone's belief is, but my belief is in Jesus Christ. My belief is in God. 
And so I make sure I get my prayer time in. I read my word. I make sure that whatever I'm doing, um, you know, if it's an online stream, that I'm getting that in because even during this time, we need to know that um, we're safe. We need to know that we got somebody that got our back, which is God. And so you need your spiritual, you need your spiritual self to be fed daily too with the word. Okay. With prayer, with other believers, find a group of people. If you need a group of people to um, hang out with and talk to virtually that believe the same thing that you believe in, inbox me. I got some groups for you. Okay. Um, And just even mentally remembering that during this time, it's going to work out Um, mentally saying, go outside, walk around. The other day, I was just like, oh, oh my gosh, because I'm not so used to being on the inside like that. I went to my studio to work out. Okay. I was like, hey, I told my husband, I was like, hey, babe, I'm going to the studio. I'm going to work out right now. Um, And that was my time to just get away and to get a workout in and just to decompress. Um, I will tell you this, mentally, one of the things that I like to do is I like to cook. And I release mentally. Okay. So find something that it is that you like to do that you haven't been able to do because you've been working or doing a lot. Okay. Find something that you like to do to help ease that men- that mental, um, you feel all bogged up. Okay. Find something to do. Um, so I don't see any other questions besides the 30 minute workout or some meal replacements. Um, but I encourage you guys that if you want to talk, inbox me, please, please, please go to um, my Parallel fit, parallel Fitness. Um, oh, we got a question. What is good to eat naturally after for, for after a workout to help build and recover those muscles? Okay, so some good things to eat naturally. Of course, we always talk about fruits and we talk about vegetables, but you also want to maybe do a type of protein because protein, and I'm not just talking about a meal replacement protein shake, which if you find a really good one, that's really good too to find a really natural, organic bay, whatever, um, to um protein shake that will help rebuild too. But also um things that have protein in them. You can do things like um, a half a piece of chicken, um, some sweet potatoes, um, some beans, some nuts, um, anything like that. Um, you can find so many different things that have protein because protein helps rebuild your muscles, right? It really does. Um, do the bananas for the lactic acid we know about. Do that as well. And you can find things that will help you rebuild that system back. And I know a lot of people don't like to. But I do recommend not just going on a strict no carb diet because you need carbs. Carbs help with energy. OK, you do need some carbs. Um, I tell people if you if you're trying to lay off of a lot of carbs, eat your carbs during lunch and then for dinner, maybe don't have any carbs. So I hope that answered your question, um, Kimberly. Um, so find some type of protein um, that you can eat a protein shake or some other types of foods that have protein in them as well. So my workouts are Tuesdays at 9 a.m. and Thursdays at 9 a.m. I did six o'clock last Thursday because I wanted to see if some more people would come in, um, but they're in the Champions Mindset page. So um, I think I did invite you, but tomorrow morning I'll be live at nine o'clock inside a Champions Mindset pers- um, private page um, and look out for some other things that I'm going to be doing. The, cha- the times might change up, but you'll definitely see flyers um, about when things change and if they change up. Um, let's see. What else was I talking about before I got the question? Can't remember. Um, but again, like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to at any time, just hit me up, um, ask me any questions that you have. Um, if you need advice, I'm here for you. Um, so let's just remember during this time, um, my motto is it's not just a workout. It is your lifestyle. So these changes that you're making during during this pandemic event, okay, it's not just something to do. It's an actual lifestyle. Make a lifestyle change. Okay. If you begin working out, 
continue it to some extent. If you begin spending more time with your family, why don't you keep re why don't you keep incorporating that in your lifestyle? This whole thing has changed um, the very trajectory of some of our lives in a very good way. And so we need to take hold of it um, and put it inside and pour it with it. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for coming on with me, Coach D, um, Parallel Fitness, A Champion's Mindset and asking questions and just being attentive to what I had to talk about. I know health and fitness and working out may not be everybody's thing, but we all going to need it at some point, right? So um, please go to Parallel Fitness or go to my page, inbox me. Let me know some different topics that you would like for me to talk about. Mental, I got you. Just let me know what it is that you want to hear and we can talk about it. OK, so until I see you guys again, this is Coach D signing off with Parallel Fitness. It's not just a workout, but it's your lifestyle. See y'all later.